that and then I sent back to the Dr. Wang Miao and he gave uh, the prescription to the patient. So, um, and the later on, and later on, and then um, like our friends, uh, doctors, just to uh, went to the uh, Wuhan to help the uh, the hospital, the uh, the uh, uh, the patient. So uh, some of our uh, colleague also send um, some information to us, and we also treat those patients. So um, we treated one. 105 cases of the coronavirus in total. And then in these 105 patients, that's include by Chinese medicine herbs only. And then, uh, some of the patient we treat combination with Chinese medicine and, and the medicine, the uh, Western medicine, uh, because some of them live in, um, just in inpatient charge in the hospital hospitalized and um, and the other it's very interesting I think they will not happen in the, the United States uh, because here in China it's um, um, the antibiotics and the uh, uh, antivirus uh, uh, medicine is not so strictly controlled so some pa patient will buy uh, they would buy some antibiotics first when they feel uncomfortable. That's a uh, reason, uh, reason one. And the, uh, secondly, um, because we don't know, we didn't know how can we treat by the Western medicine. So at the beginning, we just do a lot of the um, um, treatment by the medicine, by antibiotics or by antivirus. Uh, we just try one by one. So even the patient went to the hospital and the, if they are not very severe, so the, 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 fam, uh, the doctor will send them back home and then uh, quarantine in, um, in the home, in home and then will prescribe some antivirus um, drugs or antibiotics. They, they try to help them, but they don't know how. So that's maybe more like a comfortable drugs for the patient. And um, so the patient, after the patient doesn't have any uh, effect after use those herb, uh, those drugs, so they will, some of them will come to um, find some help uh, ask some help from uh, the Chinese medicine. So that's also the third part of our patient. So here um, we treat uh, six patients by Chinese medicine only. It's so difficult to find a patient like that. It's very lucky. And we have the, uh, the six case uh, treated by Chinese medicine only from the beginning. Uh, that's also the proof of the, the how effective of the Chinese medicine, uh, the herbal uh, medicine, and um, like this, uh, the green part that's a sorting eight patient were treated by Chinese medicine and Western medicine, and another part of this, uh, uh, orange one is a sixteen one patient treated by. Uh, Western medicine and and the Chinese medicine uh, after they treated by the Western medicine. So and then because uh, I I noticed that here some our friends are not the, the uh, medicine uh, students. So here I just want to uh, stress the the symptom first. So the coronavirus, uh, the coronavirus um, patient uh, usually have three uh, category symptoms. The first one is a very common, the commonest thing is a fever. Uh, usually they will have a fever, uh, but sometimes uh, almost them are not very high. Uh, it's just a fever. 
and the low uh, temperature f um, fever. And some, some of the patient will get a high fever and stay in a high fever for several days. But almost of them are just a, um, the, the low temperature fever, the low grade fever. And, and it's uh, so different from some other epidemic disease. Because as we know, the higher, the more danger. So it's more like a very, like the coronavirus are very, very smart. And the, the fever is, the, the, temp, the temperature is not very high. But the symptom just getting worse and getting worse. And at the beginning, a lot of the doctor will ignore that. And, and um, some patient will just um, go back to normal temperature, just uh, below a certain uh, seven degree. And maybe the patient, the, the doctor will think, well, okay, it's the, now we just get through the, the most difficult time and then suddenly the patient dies. So the fever is very important in the clinic, in the, um, yeah, in the clinic. And uh, it is not just, uh, we cannot just identify it's uh, uh, the severe or not only by the uh, degree. And the second, secondly, it's a respiratory symptoms. And then um, the patient will have the, uh, the shortness of breath, the coughing, spikes the, um, the flame, the um, uh, distension of the chest. And some, uh, if there's a very severe, we'll um, uh, have the blood, uh, will bleeding during the cough. So, uh, or sometimes the patient will feel a shortness of breath and the gasping. Uh, if you just um, ask, uh, can ask some patient uh, have a coronavirus, and then they will complain that uh, when it's um, they will have the gasping, the shortness of breath, and the lack of oxygen, and the, and then result in the uh, the quick uh, the quick uh, heartbeat. And meanwhile, the, uh, the patient also will have the digestive symptoms like nausea and then the uh, distension, abdominal distension and then uh, lower appetite and then, uh, or the diarrhea and then no um, appetite at all. So some patient when they are affected by the coronavirus. They don't have any, at the beginning, they don't have any uh, symptom of the respiratory uh, system. And uh, they don't have cough. They don't have, they maybe just feel a little bit chill, even not the chill, just um, uncomfortable. And then they feel, uh, they will uh, lose their um, appetite and then they will, they may have the, the um, Loose uh, stool or watery stool, and the bowel movement, bowel movement is a uh, frequency, uh, but not very uh, clear. Uh, they they will they will have a frequent uh, bowel movement, but they always uh, feel um, it's not uh, uh, just discharge all of the uh, stool. They still uh, have the some stool uh, in the in the large intestine and they feel very uncomfortable. And meanwhile, they will have a nausea, they have a no lower um, appetite. So at the beginning, they sometimes they will think that that is just an, um, uh, gast gastritis or uh, infection of the uh, intestine. So they will, they will just um, ignore the, they might uh, affect by the coronavirus. So at the beginning, as I said, everything just 
what everything was in chaos. So no one just know what happened. So at the beginning, and we lack of the uh, the text box, and we uh, lack of the, uh, the the respiratory machine. So and uh, uh, and I think the um, the most important thing is the um, the waste medicine. The uh, doctor just uh, express the truth, but not the good one. And they said, we don't have the uh, specific drugs point to the, cro the coronavirus. For understanding of the, the public, for the, uh, the, like, uh, the people without any uh, medicine knowledge, they think, okay, it's incurable. Untreated, uh, untreated, uh, untreated in, um, cannot be treated, incurable. So this, the panic just spread out. So that is the, um, the, the majority of symptoms of the coronavirus. And uh, um, from the uh, guideline of national guideline, and they catalog the, um, the, the disease as a fourth type, uh, the mild type, common type, severe type, and critical type. And uh, the difference between those four and the common type and the mild type, the difference is just in the sign of the phenomena seen with the CT. Uh, it will, if they have the uh, phenomena seen, like infection um, with the CT, and and with of course then the, then the test is positive, and the common type. If the um, the symptoms are very very mild, just maybe uh, itching uh, on the throat, a little bit of coughing, and a little bit chilling, that's okay. It's just the mild type. Um, and the severe type. the difference between severe type and the common type. Uh, when we observe, we think that uh, these two is very um, easy to observe and then uh, uh, very important. That's uh, uh, SOP2 um, less than uh, lighting three and the uh, shortness of breath and uh, the, uh, the breath rhythm is uh, uh, more than uh, 13 times. So that's why the the patient will have the, the gasping and the, and then the, uh, the rhythm will just uh, increase. And the severe type also, if we have that, um, if they can uh, do the CT uh, scan, scanning, so we can see the significance of the progressing uh, phenomenal disease thing on CT images in 20 to 48 hours, 24 to 80, like one or two days, and then more than 50% of this treat as severe type. So that means the progress is very fast. Like 48 hours ago, you see the CT and it's okay. It's just a little bit uh, phenomenon uh, same on the uh, CT images. And then after two days, and then you do that another a scan and then you'll find it's just enlarged the, the uh, phenomena seen on the CT image is enlarged. So it's very quick. And the last one, the crit, uh, critical type, it's um, the patient should require the um, ventilation and the shock uh, or have the shock and the um, multiple uh, organ uh, failure requiring ICU monitoring and treatment. Um, so that's the um, difference between those four. And, and here's the uh, criteria of the severe type I didn't mention about. That is uh, uh, based on the common types uh, symptoms. There is just only one criteria, only one criteria, uh, shoes like uh, the blood oxygenation or the shortness of breath or the uh, uh, scan uh, the CT image 
just one of them sh、uh, shoes, and then we can、uh, say that is belongs to that belongs to the、uh, severe type. Type. So, according to the guideline, after we summary our case, and we found,、um, we treat like eighty four cases. That's just mild and the common type, and the other twenty one is、uh, are severe type and critical type. So the proportion of the、uh, these is actually is as same as the、um, the statistics with the national wide、uh, statistics. So it's、uh, the majority case are just a、uh, uh, mild and the common type. Not very,、uh, not just severe, but why、um, the we have the severe? I, we think that's because of the、um, the immune system.、Um, in Chinese medicine, we say that's the、um, the、uh, physical condition, the body constitution.、Um, if the patient with some other、um, the basic disease like an、um, hypodemia,、uh, like in the、uh, heart attack. Or like the、uh, kidney failure, or or just the patient age is old, is elder, is a high risk to、uh, transfer from the common type to the severe type or critical type. And、um, here, this is the national statistics. They uh, just uh, collect uh, more than forty. Uh, no, more than four hundred and fifty patient, and then analyze their symptoms, and they has a fever, a muscle soreness, cough, and chest tightness, and diarrhea, and abdominal distension, and so that's a chart. It's a shows a trend,、uh, the 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 trend, and it actually it's a, as same as a, it's very interesting that that's a it's pretty same as our patient. And here is the the their combination of the two system like、uh, of the two system like the fever and the respiratory symptom and like this and it's pretty same as ours. So we can say that it's um, the the.、Um, So the sample are quite very uh, uh, similar. So that's mean the、uh, symptom are quite common and very similar. And then here see the the tongue of the、um, the coronavirus treat、uh, patient in Chinese medicine, especially for epidemic disease. We pay a lot of attention on the tongue. And uh, uh, at begin, and when it happened at beginning of the、uh, um, of the this year, and when we heard of the disease、uh, symptoms, and then all advanced and experienced the Chinese medicine doctor can realize that actually is、um, it should belongs to the、uh, deafness. And then, so we pay a lot of attention to the the tongue, and then we see that no matter、um, what age of the、um, patient or、um, what body con physical condition of the patient, here's a the same sign of the their、uh, of their tongue and the coating. That is the, the the we can see that、uh, we can see that here. That's a it's very greasy. Here's a very thick and greasy coating, yellow or white. It doesn't matter. It's just a lot of very thick and and then、um, greasy coating. And age like this one is just in.、Um, Fourteen years old, and that's a sixteen. That's a, a, around seventeen, and it's a、uh, here is a fifteen,、uh, young girl, and、uh, 
the here is a 17 and it's a uh, 17 five and here is just a uh, 30 around 30 and here is uh, uh, around 40 so so that's also very common things and also show um, the characters of the coronavirus in Chinese medicine's understanding that is that should be the deafness so that's very important when we uh, recognize it. So after we uh, treat that, so we give them the um, define of the effectiveness and the infective. So the marked effectiveness defined the criteria is here. And when we set up this uh, define uh, we when we define this uh, criteria we have some difference between uh, our group with the uh, the uh, national group because um, if you see uh, read the article um, here's a, a lot of article in Chinese uh, to um, analyze the, uh, the effective or not effective effective of the chi uh, chest medicine uh, to treat the coronavirus and they always point only point to uh, one single symptom and we think it's not enough because the chest medicine is holistic medicine we just not treat one symptom so i think our criteria uh, is a little bit more, uh, a little bit more uh, strict, strict than the Chinese, uh, the national uh, group. So here are the differences: the treatment of the all other symptoms in significantly fewer number of days than the average, and for the common type and the mild type patient, and we will um, we will um, observe their tongue coating. Because as I mentioned before, just the last slide, I said that's very important. The tongue coating is very important. The sick, greasy, that's very important. It's a very, uh, it's a, a significant sign, um, the, like the key point of the, the, the progressing um, of the, uh, the disease. So here should we add one, uh, condition is a tongue coating change were significant. And the effective define as the, uh, the same things. And then we add the tongue coating changes and the infective and define. So here's the, um, um, for severe critical types, especially for critical types, the patient dies. And for common mild types, here's a three uh, condition. Uh, because uh, for our group, our treatment, it's very complicated. The patient come to uh, find help, um, come to uh, see us is a very, you know, the source is very complicated. Some of them are from the ICU, uh, department in the hospital some of them just in um by some you know um to ask the um, the help from the doctor wang miao and to ask the help uh to see that the doctor wang miao by the recharge just online because everything just blocked and they cannot contact each other and some of the patients just in um, um introduced by the some patients friends and then so and all most of them are just wait online to uh, hospitalized so when we treat and some patient just when uh, then the government then tell them okay here's the uh, we have the uh, uh, the bed and then you can you can go to the hospital and treat it by uh, in the hospital, so some of them just uh, they lost con contact. So uh, 
uh, like the, the conditions uh, C, the treatment duration less than three days or just the drop out. Uh, because some of them just then use one or two uh, these herbs and we don't know the effective or not. And then they went to the hospital and then be cured and they come out and tell us, okay, the, the test is negative and we don't know um, that's effect uh, by the Chinese medicine herbs or just the, um, it's because of the, um, the mild one and the, um, uh, some, uh, some of the common type and the milder type can recover uh, itself. So then we account it as the uh, infective. So here's our uh, treatment so results. And so we have a um, uh, markedly, uh, markedly effective 146 case and effective, uh, sorry, three cases, then infective, nine cases, and, and unfortunately we have one date. So as I mentioned before, that's a very, the, the coronavirus is very smart. And when we treat this, the, uh, the patient, um, when he come to see us and Dr. Wang, Wang Miao and send the, all the information to me, and I prescribe one pack, and the, the second day the patient says there's no, there's any improve. Uh, improvement, and I say maybe, we, and then I I see the I saw the uh, the um, the tongue coating. I think that's a pretty uh, severe. And I told um, I told Doctor Wang Miao and Justin uh, told the uh, told the uh, the family member of the patient be uh, pay attention to it. And the family member just uh, give us the feedback. Feedback is uh, the patient. Uh, have the shortness of breath, gasping, but the temperature just go back to normal. And after I see the video of the, the patient, I say, no, it's not a good sign because the patient's the complexion um, changing to the dark and the, the, a little bit um, black. And the, um, and the gasping and the very difficult of, uh, of the bracing. And then, um, and then I change the, the prescription, and the patient even don't get the prescription and the diet. So, as I said, the temperature is not the uh, significant sign for it's uh, dangerous or not. It's in danger or not. So, uh, that's only one dead patient uh, in our group. And. Um, we also analyze um, the proportion of the critical and the severe and the common and the type all types because we 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 want to know how effective of the uh, herbs and how it uh, works on the, the different type. Uh, if that's just the works in the uh, common type and the milder type, um, so it's not very we say it's not very really, um, very useful actually because it's um, the the, the coronavirus is a, it it almost anyone can recover by uh, by itself so uh, if it just can help a very mild one it cannot treat the severe and the critical one so um, we don't think the transmits are being uh, if it happen. Uh, we don't think that's uh, have any advantages, so, uh, but fortunately, after we analyze that, it's um, uh, from here you can show that actually it's very um, we have good results, very really effective, and markedly effective on uh, all type, all types, or four types, and um, it's very interesting that. Um, it's very interesting things that uh, we compare, we, we analyze the uh, herbs we use. So we, we, uh, um, we found we use the uh, resolving Japanese herbs and avoiding turbidity, um, turbid, uh, turbidity herbs most. 
and we use uh, uh, releasing exterior uh, herbs as well, but not as much as the uh, uh, resolve depth herbs. So it's a match to the uh, reason of the coronavirus. And um, um, the clear way, the clearing heat toxin herbs. We use some clear way um, heat and the toxin herbs. And most of them, we use it in a low dosage. We just, uh, we rarely use the, um, those herbs in high dosage. Look, you can look that. We just use five times. So compare with the uh, national recovery prescription, and we see the significant difference between those uh, proportion of the herbs. So the same thing is we use the uh, resolving Japanese herbs. And uh, we can, you can see that we use the, uh, the proportion we, the, we are highest. And the green one here is the uh, clear with, uh, clearing heat toxin herbs. The proportion here is uh, much less than the national recommended prescription. Uh, sorry to and, interrupt Dr. Jin for a sec. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, so, because I only set it up uh, because of the meeting is using my account, Zoom uh, only allows me to set it up for 40 minutes. So just oh. in case, okay. just, just, just in case we got kicked off, here's the link to the new meeting I put in the chat. So uh, please copy the uh, link and put it somewhere else. Just okay. in case if we get kicked off, yeah. we'll use yeah. this okay. meeting. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, I, I see. <laughs> so we don't analyze Lianhua Qingmen Jiao Nan. And uh, because uh, we don't think Lianhua Qingmen Jiao Nan is the best choice for the coronavirus. So we even don't uh, analyze that. And the compare the tongue fur and the symptoms in treatment group, that's a, um, we'll see that if that's effective. The, uh, f um, the, the, uh, the most change is the tongue coating. And the other symptoms change, not as much, not as much uh, significant as the, uh, the, the tongue coating, the fur, to show if the, the uh, treatment is effective. So here's our uh, group in the analyze. And then, uh, then we, uh, I just um, want to introduce why the coronavirus happened uh, in this year. And we, I, I think it's nature. So there's no conspiracy. Uh, I think it's very nature. And when then, uh, because, um, you know, it's a spread uh, actually in uh, December in Wuhan and the, uh, one doctor just uh, sent um, sent some information and shared information um, even before the, um, um, the 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 government gave us alert and um, and one of the friends just shared the the information to me and I say then I reply just a smile and she think the the doctor said think. Uh, just ask me why you smile. I said it's very common because this year is the the, the very easy to have epidemic um, disease because the weather condition is fit for the spreading of the um, epidemic disease. So if we um, if we uh, can understand the the ancient uh, climate the knowledge of the China. That's we will have a, we will um, consider it's a Wu Yun Liu Qi, the heavenly climate change. Wu Yun Liu Qi. 
and the and the in, in last year, in two thousand nineteen, we call Yi Hai. So the characters of the Z year are the year one. The Earth movement is sufficient. The Earth, that means spleen, is sufficient. So there should be a lot of dampness. And uh, the Si Tian, the um, Si Tian, how can I uh, translate that? Um, is it running? Um, What's what does what does Si Tian mean? Si Tian Let me just think. It's uh, okay. That's um uh because we um uh, just uh, define the the year and the half uh, year and uh, half and half. So the first half is Si Tian. That's uh, like a uh, with controlling the heavens. Another is uh, uh the 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 another half is a uh, controlling the earth. Uh, we call the Zai Quan. Um. So uh, the Si Tian is drawing uh, the wood, the wind wood Si Tian. That's um, so. That's mean here's a lot of the um, the wind, and uh, sometimes it's very cold. So when is the 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 weather is too cold, and then we will block out the a lot of the dampness uh, hide in the body. It may not just result in the disease immediately, but it's just stay. And then um, we call the Shaoyang, um, the ministry fire is in the uh, upwelling Zai Quan. Uh, that's mean in the, the, um, the second half of the, the year, it will be very warm. So I don't know uh, in United States, but in Chengdu, we can feel very uh, easily and then the the whole winter are warm were warm it were very warm and um, um so the warm disease illness is more common and often than in a pre uh, in previous years when we treat the patient we notice that so i always told my Colleagues and my student just be uh, pay attention to the plague. We call the uh, we call it plague, uh, the epidemic disease. We call it plague. Uh, please just pay attention to that. So when my friend told me that, I don't feel oh the shock because they share that the 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 image. Uh, they say oh there's uh, some uh, we have the seven case like uh, of the SARS. Uh, I say the oh that's very common. And uh, we know that's not SARS. And um, so, and that's the weather condition. And then the, and the, um, the symptoms, we call that the, the respiratory, the digestive, the fever. Uh, uh, every patient, each of the patient has very similar, similar symptoms. And it's, and also, it's a uh, it's an epidemic disease. It's so uh, spread so quickly, and then um, a lot of the patients just uh, get it, uh, and they spread one by one. And when they go back home and then uh, quarantine in home, and uh, and then just in, um, the coronavirus spread to the whole family. Not one of my patients, they the the whole family member uh, got it in just uh, four days. When they uh, had quarantined in in Wuhan, and another f uh, patient in Chengdu, like they uh, they um, they uh, um, they affected in the um, our yard, Yulun. Oh, the Yulun, yeah, 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 uh, the yard. A cruise, a cruise, yeah, cruise, yes, a cruise to the Vietnam. The cruise to the Vietnam, and when they go back to the Chengdu, and the whole family just got it, and then um, hospitalized in the uh, Huaxi Hospital. And so, from according to the analyze of the weather condition, the symptoms, the epidemic, the disease, and then we give the 
the name of the Chinese medicine. That's a that's a death toxin epidemic. And the reason in Chinese medicine that's a uh, pre um, we call that uh, in Chinese it's a li qi. Uh, that's a li qi. If we translate that, it's the uh, pristilin tenensu qi. And then we give the um, the more detail in detail. That's a depth toxin because that's a depth is because of the the uh, um, the symptom and because of the tongue coating. That's a very um, a thick and greasy coating. And because that is a toxin, that means it's um, a spread so fast and the the, the it's a progress so quick and it's um, uh, very strong. So we call that a toxin. So if we analyze the uh, the past mechanism of the Chinese medicine, it's totally different from the Western medicine. And then that you will uh, re do the research on the virus. We don't. We will do the research on the symptoms and the the, um, the uh, progress uh, growing of the disease. And then we we'll also will um, I. Uh, analyze the past mechanism of the disease. So the most important is the depth at toxin. So another, uh, and, um, in the, and another is the, the flame and the um, stasis, uh, static. And the, another reason is deficiency. So based on our analysis, so we set up the treatment. And the very interesting things, we um, have one book, have actually two books that are quite important and give us the very important hint. One is Wilkes discussion of the warm uh, epidemics. That's Wen Yi Lun. Another is um, Xu Xu's uh, book. It's an um, the warm and and heat uh, disease, the warm and heat disease, So those two, those two uh, books just give us a um, very specific and a very clear hint to treat the the the, the disease. So that's a, uh, the uh, first priority is drive out the pathogen. And how you drive, drive it out, that's a resolving the dampness. So then if you still remember the slide, the analyze of other herbs we use, that's um, the, the most herbs we use is resolve the dampness. And then the, uh, like the uh, chao guo and ho po and bing lang and huo xiang pei lan. That use the transforming dampness and resolve, to resolve the toxin as the most basic treatment principle. And meanwhile, we will notice that the flame, and so we sometimes, we also should use the unblocking collaterals. And when the people die, the, uh, the, the doctor researches the body, they will find the flame plug blocking the, the lung. Uh, and you can uh, do the research, um, there's a lot of article in English will uh, describe that. So in, in Chinese medicine, we say that's blocking the collaterals of the lung. So we should unblocking that. And how we do that is not only moving blood, it's still back to the um, passaging, uh, back to the pass uh, mechanism, is the, uh, the dampness. We should transform in the dampness. So that's a quite different from the national uh, the guideline. So when we treat that, we just cannot blindly use antivirus herbs. So that's why in our uh, treatment, there's a, um, just not uh, lots of the herbs, which is clear with the uh, heat herbs. In Chinese medicine, we, do a, we also do a lot of the, the uh, experiments the, um, uh, in the lab. And we you know, analyze the herbs, uh, and we extract it and analyze it, 
uh, in the in the uh, pharma knowledge, and then we found that all, a lot of the um, cold beta taste herbs have that uh, can antivirus. So when you I I noticed that so here some audience are Chinese Chinese, like uh, you. I think you're very familiar with like uh, Kang Bindu Jiao Nang, that's an uh, Kang Bindu Chong Ji, um, the antivirus uh, um, decoction to treat the, the common cold, right? Which is not correct because the, uh, we don't use our uh, Chinese medicine like that. In the Asian time, in the history, the doctor don't use it like that. We should follow the Chinese medicine standard. We follow the uh, the Chinese medicine rules. So we cannot just blindly use antivirus. If we want antivirus, we should stimulate our body, not just to use the antivirus herbs, because here's a much many kind of the virus, and it's not you just drop the um, a bomb. On, the, on your body and destroy all, the, all of the, everything in, in the body. And you say, okay, I just use it antivirus. <laughs> so we cannot just use like that. We should add, uh, if you want to use the Chinese medicine, the herbs to treat any disease, you should follow the Chinese medicine rules, not just the pharmaceutical uh, analyze, because all the herbs, the effect by pharmaceutical experiment is just out of the body. And um, so we cannot just a simple uh, stack together herbs to expel passaging with those to support to the normal. And then uh, beginning, here's a lot of the uh, article to write, uh, to um, suggest to how to, how we can prevent or treat the uh, coronavirus. And then a lot of the doctors say, um, we can antivirus and uh, enhance immune, uh, immune, immune systems. And then they, they will just simply combine antivirus herbs and the immune system herbs, like uh, Huang Xi and Jensen, uh, like that, with like a uh, Jin Hua Guan Zhong, which is antivirus herbs, which totally not true which is not totally not true. Uh, I'll explain later. Because when actually when we treat the patient, the herbs, medicines are all in guides. The goal is to stimulate the body on physiological function. So the philosophy to treat, by to treat disease by Chinese medicine is totally different from the Western medicine. We just stimulate the body's, the, the functions by the herbs and restore communication between the body and the natural world. So we, not, we are not just against the virus or, or just the bacteria. We just adjust our body to back to normal. We analyze which part is abnormal, and then we adjust that, we treat that, and this is back to normal. And then it's, it can antivirus by the body self. And then here's the, um, here's the, um, uh, the treatment, the, preven uh, the uh, principle during the prevention, treatment, and aftercare. So the goal of the herbs, the medicine, is correct abdominal, uh, abdom uh, abnormal tendencies and restore the balance, because in Chinese medicine, we call that, so we keep the balance of yin and yang. So we should restore the balance and restore the body's function. Use herbs strictly in accordance with the Chinese medicine guideline. We also have very, very strict uh, criteria and uh, the, um, the and, or, and the standard for using herbs. Not just uh, explained by the Western medicine, 
like uh, pharmaceutical things. Okay, here's the bars, and then we find some herbs can treat that. Here is the, the, the blood pressure is a uh, higher, and then we found some herbs which can uh, lower the blood pressure down by the experiment and by the um, pharmaceutical experiment. And then we, like I said again, and don't simply try to expose the virus. The chest medicine is not simply just a technologic takes medicine. It's an adaptive treatment. So there's no, so if, if we uh, treat, uh, if we um, want to prevent the uh, coronavirus, so there's no need first in Chinese medicine, we also um, will uh, follow the Chinese medicine's guideline. We should follow it. So as I said, when we treat the disease, so we just restore the balance. So the condition is in balance and then we restore it. So at the beginning of the, the disease spread and here's ma ma many patient, uh, friends, patients, like uh, the people around me just ask me, Dr. Jing, if I need, the, uh, need some herbs to prevent that. So, it's uh, like uh, we have that the moment, like uh, the Shuang Huang Lian being sold out, uh, like a uh, Banan being sold out, like uh, um, <laughs> that's for me, I think it's already funny. Because first, there's no need for prevention medicine in the average population, like uh, if that you are normal, if you are, you are healthy, for the healthy people, you don't need one. You don't need adjust your in and yang. So the most important, if you want to prevent that, the most important is that the wash hand and the, 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 the mask. And put on the mask on, on, on your face. That's the most important. And then the uh, social distance. And uh, if we, if the patient had even have some you know, uh, condition like an imbalance, like a basic di uh, disease or uh, the body condition, the physical condition is not really healthy. And then we should analyze by Chinese medicine and use specific target, targeted preventive medicine for individuals. Like for, for one patient, if he, if he want, uh, want some uh, herbs to, uh, prevent, and then I should uh, take the pulse and the see the tongue and give the five. Uh, ask all the information, collect the, all the information, and give the our our diagnose, and which is a uh, higher, which is a uh, lower, which is a uh, yang is a uh, higher or yang is uh, yin or is or yin is a deficiency, or he uh, the patient has a, um, a deafness or not. So use a specific targeted uh, preventive medicine. And if, but for the, for the, um, um, the population, we don't have that much uh, time and the, the, the energy and the, enough the doctor to treat, to give every one the, um, to treat everyone, to give the everyone uh, the prescription individually. So we use a preventive medication uh, with types. You can just uh, catalog the, the patients as um, you just uh, collect and uh, the, the symptoms and analyze that and then catalog it and then um, just um, Give the uh, the herbs as a different types, like uh, the one type patient as a qi deficiency types. What kind of herbs you can use, and uh, the as a qi deficiency with the dampness, and the yang deficiency with the dampness, and the yin deficiency with dampness. 
So you just give the, the medication uh, by the types. And when you give the herbs to prevent the um, coronavirus by, uh, for, the pay, for, uh, for prevention, uh, you, when you give the herbs, so the most important things is still, as I mentioned before, the herbs medicine are not, are just old in guides. So you cannot just simply think these herbs is antivirus. That herbs is just an, um, like an um, enhanced immune system. So I never recommend it like a Shuang Huang Lian uh, injection and just a, a large dosage of the Yinghua and the Lian Chao or just in the uh, um, Uh, like in the Lian Hua Qing Wen uh, to the patient, to my friend, bl uh, blandly. So when you treat that, the expel passaging as a first priority and the not just not to simply use antivirus herbs, not to simply enhance immune system, like uh, all also, here's a lot of the patient just ask me if I can drink a lot of the Huang Qi because, um, or just use Yu Ping Feng San. Because in Yu Ping Feng San, in Chinese medicine, we understand like after you use that, it's like just an enhance your fence of the body. So the patient, uh, a lot of the doctors since after the, we drink that, it's just to make our, uh, can enhance our immune system and then just um, uh, protect our body. And also here's a lot of the uh, experiments to analyze the, the Huang Qi also can, uh, to point out it can uh, enhance the immune system. So here's a lot of the abuse of the antivirus herbs and uh, like a Huang Qi or ginseng to uh, enhance the immune system. During the uh, treatment, and the uh, prevention or aftercare. The, uh, the rules of the using Chinese medicine is strictly follow the evidence and the rules because the Chinese medicine is a very, very logical medicine. We treat the patient, follow the evidence as follow the evidence. Our four diagnoses the patient's complaints, the tongue, the coatings, the tongue coatings and the, the, the pulse, all of them are, are evidence. So you just, you just cannot just imagine it, like just in, in losing it, like, okay, that's a virus. So I just give the antivirus to treat that. Okay, that is the qi deficiency. So because the, the qi is deficiency, so the, the evil qi will attack. So I just enhance the, the, the correct qi or uh, you just explain that uh, as a Western medicine, like enhancing immune system. We, if we use Chinese medicine, we just strictly follow the uh, evidence and the, follow the Chinese medicine rules. And if the patients, the, um, the test change to a negative, there's still have uh, some symptoms like a fatigue, cough, itching, um, a burning throat, the pain in the chest, that's so, and so on. In Chinese medicine, if we, the, the understanding of the um, um, cure, be cured or uh, improved, is totally different from the uh, Western medicine. We are not only paying attention to the taste, is positive or negative. Of course, uh, the negative is the, the standard, the criteria, the most important. But if the, 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 the taste um, turn to negative, 
in Chinese medicine, we say, no, it's not the end of the um, a treatment. The treatment should be still on, still um, keep going, because we'll see the tongue coating will ask the, the, the symptom, and so still um, uh, keep, treat, uh, keep treat, uh, treating on the patient. Like, uh, uh, my, like my patient in Chengdu, uh, those three patients still uh, come to see me and then, uh, get, the, get the prescription for, uh, for um, uh, the aftercare. Even they discharge like uh, one month ago, they still uh, using Chinese medicine herbs. And the Western medicine doctor just was sh um, shocked because I, um, like this lady, yes, because she is uh, 74 years old when she went to uh, the hospital or um, in charge of the hospital. And when they treat that, they found uh, she uh, actually is very severe, was very severe. And um, uh, she recovered very well. And um, the Western medicine doctor that say, that's very lucky because she's very, uh, she's old and uh, she um, has a basic uh, condition as a hyperlipidemia and a hypertension and a heart attack. So that's very good result by uh, combination with Chinese medicine and Western medicine. And um, look, when the patient gets the negative, but their coating is still greasy. So in Chinese medicine, we say the the passaging is still there, so we should keep keep going. And, sorry, uh, sorry to interrupt, Doctor J. Yeah, it's a it's yeah. a great presentation. I think all of us have enjoyed your content and so far. But it's already at ten oh nine right now. So mm -hmm. would you mind finishing up in? probably one or two minutes so we can have like yeah, I'm, I'm 10 going or to 20 finish. yeah no, sure. wonderful wonderful Thanks. yes I actually I, i'm going to just finish in one or two minutes just great. the great. last slide great. so here it's a if the tongue coating like that it's very clean there's no coating that's a that's mean it's be uh that's be cured okay and when we treat the patient. Actually, the, here's the misunderstanding of a Chinese medicine. Um, here's a lot of the doctors say, I belong this style, uh, or she be, he belong that style, or, or give us a lot of the styles. So some of Chinese medicine doctor advocate that we should use Shang Han's a style to treat that. Some of them will say we should use the uh, warm disease style to treat that. Uh, I don't agree at, uh, with it. Actually, during our treatment, uh, after we uh, summarize it, actually it's uh, cover a lot of the um, schools and also cover a lot of the knowledge. And so it's a cover from Wilk, as, as I mentioned before. As a, as a warm disease and uh, the shishis, damp heat passaging disease, and also cover the Han Dynasty's Zhang Zhongji's cold damage and the Song Dynasty's uh, Li Gao's discussion of the spleen and stomach. And uh, uh, Wang Haogu, uh, his student, uh, also in Song Dynasty, and Wang Qingren's uh, in Qing Dynasty's the theory of blastasis. And also, it's cover a lot of schools. Um, it's cover The school was the school of the cold damage, the school school of the warm disease, the school of the spleen and stomach, and school of the nourishing, like the Zi Xue Pai, right? And the school of the Wen uh Wen Yang Wen Bu Xue Pai, Tony Fai Yang, and the schools of the blastasis. So it covered almost all of the schools in, in Chinese medicine. When so when we use uh, when we treat that, we use their series, we, we use their idea, we use their uh, the formula, their treatment principle, 
So what I want to say is to actually Chinese medicine has no school. If, if even I trace the different school in Chinese medicine, there's only one school just to follow the evidence, use the logical thinking. Um, we, the school's concept is totally different from uh, what we think actually. Um, so that's the, uh, when we choose that we cannot um, use only one school or just uh, have any uh, bias on our uh, academic thinking. So you should just follow the uh, rules of the Chinese medicine, follow the evidence, use the logical thinking to treat that. Uh, And in fact, the Chinese herbal uh, medicine is very effective at all stages for this disease. And the TCM and the Western medicine are two different medicine system. And each of them has their own, uh, its, its own advantages. So we should work together and learn from each other to help the patient, to save their life. Because they, um, um, I have a lot, some case they, uh, in the ICU and uh, the waste medicine use the, uh, their machine and with the chance medicine herbs to uh, save their life. So that's very um, important, I think. We cannot just um, say, okay, Chinese medicine is a very good one, so we don't need to use Western medicine. Or on the, on the other hand, we just only use Western medicine or just against any treatment of a Chinese medicine. So we should, I think in my mind, we should uh, work together uh, because our goal is to save the, the patient's life, to help them, okay. That's all of our, my uh, presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jing. Let's give her a applause for this awesome presentation. Uh, thank you. Uh, we'll now open up the floor for questions. Please list your name in the everyone's chat, and then we will get started with whoever who comes first. Or if you can just uh, unmute yourself and start right now and ask questions. Um, yeah, um, one of the things that was interesting to me, uh, Dr. Jin, yeah. uh, was that there was a, a, a difference between uh, the herbs that you recommended and the herbs mm -hmm. that, and the concoction that was recommended officially by the government mm -hmm. in China. What do you mm -hmm. think accounts for that difference? Oh. Okay, so uh, uh, first, maybe this, um, because the, um, you know, in China, they will uh, have a lot of the doctor to uh, discuss with that, and then the, uh, the national wide, they will uh, uh, just um, uh, have a lot of the uh, very senior doctor, very like, um, uh, sent, I mean, like in the top. So they maybe have a lot of the discussion. So uh, it's very difficult to um, get uh, one specific answer. So maybe I think there's a lot of the compromising here. And, um, and then they, I think when we treat the pa uh, patient individ individually, like uh, I recommend the herbs because I'm not recommended herbs, I just in the, analyze my, the herbs I, I, what I use. So I just use it um, individually. So I just um, statistics. And other doctors just recommend is that maybe they just um, um, not so, do it not so uh, um, accurate. So they just give, um, they also give us different type and um, and I think here in Chengdu, the doctors in Chengdu have more experience to, to treat the damp heat. And the, 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 all the experts uh, from the, uh, the government, is they, almost of them are come from the Beijing and they don't have that much experience. So that's a, the, 
the the difference. Another is for me the 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 sort of the are uh, my um, understanding of the uh, the toxin, and uh, you can see that they use more clearly heating uh, heat herbs, and they, I think they more uh, pay attention to the uh, the uh, the toxin, uh, how they can uh, antivirus, and which I don't. Uh, that's the second one, and the third one is even they realize that, and they they cannot just they, because that's a recombinant uh, formula. So they just uh, they just give them uh, give your just uh, uh, like the suggestion, and when you use that, uh, they think the doctor should adjust the uh, the formula, the dosage by the by 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 themselves. So I think that's why. Okay, uh, I think that answer always questions, I think. Uh, okay, so the, the next person, they, I guess Dr. Jane? Yeah, so is that, and um, do I? Uh, I mean, <laughs> Elizabeth's next question. Yeah, Elizabeth is the next one in line. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, is, is Liz Elizabeth, Elizabeth here? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can okay, hear Okay, great. Thank, um, hi, Dr. Jen. Thank you for that presentation. That was really good. My name's Elizabeth. Um, I just had a question about the um, comparison of the um, um, Chinese medicine treatment against, mm -hmm. you know, the classic Western, um, Western treatment or, um, mm -hmm. you know, like remdesivir or some some of the Western medicine um, standard treatments that they're using. Mm -hmm. What's the um, comparison and efficacy between like the the Chinese medicine way that you're talking about um, and mm -hmm. the, the Western medicine? Okay, so uh, let me just repeat your question. That's uh, what you want to see is uh, uh, how, how the effective uh, the Chinese medicine uh, herbs treatment owning and uh, compared to the uh, Chinese medicine and Western medicine uh, combination, or and then uh, compare with the uh, owning the Western uh, uh, medicine uh, standard uh, Western medicine, just uh, uh, Western medicine only, right? Yes. Western medicine. Yeah. Okay. So uh, mm, it's very hard to see, and um, because the um, for the mild one, for the mild one, um, for the mild and the uh, common one, it's a uh, um, uh, almost the patient has a, uh, can um, recover by themselves. So, um, so if we compare with the severe and the critical one, I think the uh, combine uh, combined uh, Chinese medicine herbs and the Western medicine herbs we have um, uh, significantly uh, markedly effective uh, than only use Western medicine. And for the severe one. Uh, the Chinese medicine and uh, has adv advantages, and uh, the and also the com combination with the uh, uh, Chinese medicine with the uh, Western medicine also uh, uh, better than uh, Western medicine only, because the, uh, for this virus, the Western medicine has no way to treat like it's uh, like uh, more like the flu, right? It's uh, for Western medicine, this, the suggestion is just to drink the um, uh, water and uh, um, and uh, get more high protein uh, food. It's a, which is also which is totally different from Chinese medicine because of, uh, you you can see the tongue. Um, there's a very uh, greasy coating here. In our treatment, we suggest the patients do not eat too much oily and greasy food, and not too much um, uh, like a steak, like a, um, high protein food because it will uh, just make them um, a lot of the, um, uh, how can I say, digestive problem, uh, just an, um, a burden on the, the digestive uh, system. So um, it's totally different. So uh, for, uh, for me, uh, I just, I cannot um, um, pre, 
uh, just for me, for my understanding, for my experience, to treat these uh, disease like as if the the disease, the Chinese medicine character uh, has a dampness, has a, uh, the cold uh, or damp dampness and heat, the Chinese medicine uh, always have the advantages uh, than the Western medicine only. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, uh, with that, I think Michael is next in line. Hi, Dr. Jun. Thank you so much for that wonderful talk. Um, I just had a question about sort of uh, less so on uh, the, the Chinese medicine side of things, but more so mm -hmm. on your own perspective. Like, I was mm -hmm. wondering what your reaction was to when you saw your first series of cases and sort of how your perspectives and thoughts and feelings were as these cases progressed from a local outbreak to a full-on pandemic. Mm, sorry, could you just repeat your um, the question? I just wanted to sort of uh, get like yeah, what uh, your uh, personal reaction ask, was. Yeah, yeah, slower, slower, just a little bit slower because the oh, uh, yes. internet. Yes, thank you. Yes, uh, so <laughs> yeah. uh, what was your reaction yeah. to the first mm -hmm. series of cases? Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. what were your perspective, thoughts and feelings as the cases progressed from a local outbreak to a full on pandemic? No, the, the okay. Uh, if I uh, if I understand correctly, um, oh, the he is not saying that I saw the first case of the reaction to this 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 uh, it's just the actually, actually I, at beginning it's just in Wuhan, and I think we think that's uh, just a uh, very we can control it, and then we realize that because now is the um, is a, the 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 earth is just like the village now. It's because of the the uh, transportation has changed so fast. I I always say like uh, if that's in ancient time, if even it's just in anywhere, like in Wuhan or in Chengdu, in America, in, in, in maybe in New York, like in maybe 10, uh, 100 years ago, if a region uh, st started at the New York or Wuhan or Chengdu, no matter where, it's just will be just not like a national wide or worldwide because the, uh, it will not spread so fast, so, uh, so widely because uh, uh, the, our living style and uh, the transportation uh, change so much and so it's just spread out. So when I first, uh, when I say that, uh, uh, when I know, heard of it, and uh, I, I, think, uh, I think the Chinese government do the very right thing to just block the Wuhan. And, but, I, um, but because, the, um, because it's, um, uh, it's uh, you know, it's a uh, spring festival, holiday that's very important for every chinese so they stay together before that they stay together and they the um they um uh have a lot of the dinner they have a dinner together so so that's just makes it a uh, uh spread very fast and then and the the people travel everywhere and to the the other city in china so they just bring the virus and the uh, all of the uh city and uh, so i think i think um i think that's a difference between the understanding of the the virus of uh, western culture and the, the asian culture like especially at the beginning we suggested the use the uh, the mask uh, the face mask and um uh and we hear that the all western country just uh, think that's uh, unnecessary but in china when the government said we should wear the mask and then just uh, the mask just uh, the face mask is sold out and we cannot even we can, you cannot buy one and then because that's in uh, the the holiday so no factory will product that so um 
and I, I, and I told my friend in the United States and in Germany, and you, you should wear the face mask. And my friend told me, but uh, the different culture, they think that if you are illness, you, you should do that. So that's why I, I think that's why in, in, in Italy and in, in United States, so it's so spread so fast and, uh, and widely. And, and like in Italy, I think it's also another thing is, is uh, their uh, living style and their, uh, because they, they like hot and uh, or kiss when they uh, meet. And then the secondly, and the uh, living style, uh, the living style is uh, pretty as, as uh, similar as in China. The uh, young, uh, you know, the young people uh, live to get uh, with uh, the older one as a family, they like the big family, so that's why in Italy have why in Italy so severe, and in, in United States I don't know why. That's, I I also ask my friend why why it's happening United States because at the beginning we the, the also the, the experts in China they said you, we don't need to worry about the American at all. They have a a a, a very good. Um, the um, um, standard of the medicine, me medical, they have the uh, enough uh, medical e equipment. And I don't know why it's so spread so fast in the United States. Uh, but for the worldwide, I think because the living style and the transportation and change, so it's so spread so fast. So when I, when I faced the first case, I realized that it's, uh, it's harder to control than in the Asian time. Maybe because if that's a, um, if, if we as, as, uh, if we see it as example in Wuhan and we say that maybe it's just a well, just blocked in the Wuhan, like maybe 100 years ago. And there's no case in Chengdu because no flight, no plane, no car. The people even want to go out, they, uh, the people will die during the traveling. So, okay, that's um, enough. Yeah, thank you so much. That was really okay. insightful. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Jin. Uh, I think Dr. Marta Henson, are you gonna ask the next question? Yeah, I have, I have one question. Thank you so much for agreeing to do this. And I think all of us have, have learned an incredible amount. And the, the one thing I, I wanted to ask you about was, did, did most of your treatment occur through the internet? And did you actually see any patients? And then, and then, how was that covered by insurance? So, it, it's what oh. I find. Right. Yeah. So I don't know if it's covered by insurance or not, yeah. or how you how how you how the patients yeah. um, covered yeah. this treatment, and and if it's all themselves being their own advocates for their own care. Uh huh. Okay. Or oh. that kind of thing. Okay. Okay. So that's actually that's a two question. So okay. All, uh, all of the treat, all of the cases are treated on internet, remote treatment, mm -hmm. because I cannot contact them. I would love to go to Wuhan to help the patient, uh, patient, but uh, my, um, my, uh, my wife just uh, said I can't go <laughs> because, yeah, <laughs> because my 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 case is just uh, three months old. So she said that you cannot go. And then, uh, so I stay here. I found I also can help people. So I stay here, get the remote treatment on internet. And, on, um, but the, the information collected by the, the, the doctor who can contact with them. Uh, like in ICU, um, the ICU uh, department, the, uh, the director of the ICU de uh, department, and she found there's no, help by the Western medicine, like uh, um, the antivirus drugs, like um, uh, they use a lot, you know, like anti, uh, um, I just forget the, the English name, can treat the uh, AIDS. Uh, they first, they treat the, the, the patient with like uh, anti-AIDS, um, and uh, they also use Ostavir, and also they use uh, Abidol, and also they use a, a transfer, a transfer factor. There's no help. And then the director just asked for help from the doctor, uh, with a chest medicine doctor. So uh, he, uh, she just didn't uh, send us the, um, 
the all information we need. Mm. And okay, so that's the first question. The second one is a healthcare one. Um, actually, uh, in China, uh, the government announced that all the treatment will be free for the uh, for the um, uh, coronavirus uh, patient. That's all free, so they don't need to worry about the insurance. Uh, at the Chinese, but the herbs, because we are not the, in the hospital system, and if the patient uh, live in the hospital system and the hospital, uh, like the director of the ICU doctor, uh, ICU department, um, she asked help from, uh, she just uh, asked us to uh, prescribe the herbs, and then it can count in their treatment. So it will also be covered by the um, uh, the insurance. The government will pay for that. But uh, like my patient, three uh, those three patients uh, in the hospital at the beginning, the Western medicine doctor re uh, refused to use with the Chinese medicine, and then the government just uh, give the command to use combined Chinese medicine. Um, have to we have to use that and then so that's very good good thing and then um and they can they just pay by themselves and uh, then later on uh, the and the the the, the hospital uh, the uh, system uh, the doctor in the system uh, accept the chest medicine and then just accounting the uh, you know uh, the bill of, of the treatment the mm -hmm. government will pay for that uh, so um all um, as I know, if just you go to the hospital, if you hospitalized, if you treating the patient, um, in patient, the government will pay for all of the, the bill, all of the uh, treatment. Um, so that's, um, I think that's a good thing. I guess it was really, really yeah. fascinating from many different angles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because there's some more. Know, there's more people in the queue, so you have more questions. Oh yeah, okay. if you don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because that's that's actually that's very expensive. Because for the mild one, for the uh, common type, that's okay. But for the uh, for the uh, uh, criteria one, if you open just to start to use the ventilation, that machine, that's about the. Um, uh, I heard of that. It's. Um, if you start to use that, it will cost like um, about uh, wow, six sixty uh, six zero thousand US dollar per patient. Per patient, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right, uh, Wendy. Oh yeah. Thank you, Dr. Zing. So my question is that uh, you're basically talking about the treatment of herbal medicine. So um, mm -hmm. I'm wondering if, like, do you use other traditional Chinese treatment method like acupuncture in the treatment mm -hmm. of the virus? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, I didn't use that, but some of the Chinese medicine doctors use that in Wuhan. Uh, they use that, but I don't have any experience because I said I, I use a re remote. I cannot do the acupuncture. <laughs> <laughs> in that distance, so uh, but I heard of that. So the uh, I, as I mentioned before, the uh, they use the uh, the moxibustion, just uh, uh, ijo, and the acupuncture, uh, zhen, uh, to treat that, to treat the coronavirus, and they uh, they also got the good results, especially for in some uh, very uh, acute one. So are they using them to like help the patients to breathe or do they actually have like Yes. Okay. Yes, help them the, all the symptoms like the help them breathe or uh the uh, the fever they are lower down the uh, the temperature and then the um even some of the uh, like a diarrhea they use them more. Uh even as, uh for the aftercare I heard I heard some uh, doctor also use that for the the aftercare. Okay, thank you. Mm, welcome. Okay, so our last questions will come from Sarah. 
Hey, thank you for taking my last question. Um, I was wondering if there were issues with the herbal supply chain, right? Um, I mean, we only have a finite amount of herbs in the US. We've already seen the prices of something like E.E. E. Ren, a very common, mm -hmm. normally cheap herb skyrocket. So I'm wondering if your patients in Wuhan had difficulty mm -hmm. accessing the herbs once they were prescribed and what that mm -hmm. end looked like. Yes, yes, actually. Uh, at the beginning, they're very difficult to get the herbs because, uh, you know, they, uh, the government shut down everything. They blocked it, and so they cannot, uh, they're very difficult. Not, I cannot say cannot. They're very difficult to get, get herbs. So sometimes we can, well, when we don't uh, have them herbs, uh, so we just change herbs to, uh, to replace it. But um, um, the most important herbs, we, we just uh, told the patient, you should uh, um, just um, how can I say to get it as um, uh, no matter no matter what happened, you just can get it like a uh, xiang, like uh, cao guo, the, those uh, resolving herbs, like just like the key herbs. Uh, but uh, fortunately, uh, that's uh, uh, people in Wuhan are very bravely, and they, uh, the, the also, we also also have a lot of the pharmacy. You know the owner of the pharmacy, the owner of the um, uh, who sell the Chinese medicine herbs are very brave, and um, uh, they still will sell it. Even sometimes we have a lot of volunteer uh, to send uh, the herbs to the patient when they uh, they, they just uh, use a V chart, you know, and then they pay for it uh, by the V chart, and then the volunteers to um, help them to send the herbs to and the uh, it's like uh, my 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 friends, also my patient, the uh, the four patient, the the whole family get uh, uh, affected by the uh, coronavirus, and actually uh, in his family, uh, his his father and his mother are uh, were a severe type, and uh, 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 his um, uh, his wife are, were pregnant. Uh, in uh, about six months, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, she just delivered a very uh, cute girl uh, dollar uh, ten days ago uh, with uh, antib antibody positive. <laughs> yeah, and so uh, the pharmacy just uh, send herbs um, uh, every three days. Yeah, and she, and because he also is a, a transmission trans doctor, uh, he stole some herbs. So. Uh, uh, in that period, there are some, uh, you know, the community are uh, are not so dark. It's uh, a lot of volunteer do the things. Yeah, they did a great job, actually. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Jin. Thank you yeah. for answering all of our questions. Uh, I thank you. So I think that will be the end of today's meeting. I think uh, so. Thanks everyone for showing up. It's great to see all this uh, people still turn out. Um, as we're still planning for our next meeting or anything like that, feel free to like our Facebook page, and then uh, we'll we'll leave a link to the video of the recording of today's session in the Facebook event page. So if you have friends or families who would like to. Know, learn more about Chinese Chinese medicine and corona and coronavirus. Uh, send send a link to them so they can heard about that too. So and Dr. Yeah, thanks Dr. Jing. And uh, you're welcome. Yeah, if you if you have still have any more questions about the topic, we can generate yeah. a question list and we can send it to Dr. Jin if that's possible. And if you have free time, you can answer some of them. Yes. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Bye, Andrew. Right. Bye. Yeah. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I hope you like can meet you. Uh, My, in future likewise. time. Likewise. Yeah. Likewise. In Japan? Yes. No, future uh, time. Oh. Yeah, future time, of course. In future time. Yeah, it's, um, mm -hmm. Next time when I uh, go to United States. Will, so, will you publish? Uh, will you publish anything on your experience? I've already published uh, the article in uh, Chinese medicines. Uh, yeah, in Latin. Yeah, in Latin. 
Yeah, oh, yes, I, that's right. That's right. That's right. I got that. I have that. Team. Yeah. Yes, Thank you. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm going to impart this more. And uh, because that's uh, just uh, for the case uh, discussion, I think I uh, will uh, visit, um, will uh, write more. Uh, not experience, just like a summary, uh, summary and an ex explanation with a case study. Yeah, with help, uh, Chris. Yeah, well, I like so I I'll, I'll plan to if you don't mind be in touch with you later once I get through yeah, my semester no and a, and a backload of other things I need to finish. But sometime okay. in June I'll be contacting you. Yeah, no problem. And uh, also I have my uh, I I'm going to uh, send the uh, my email to Ota, and she can yeah he yeah. Can transfer Thanks so you, much, okay? C, for organizing this. I think that was very timely and very informative I, and it meant we I, and I'm sure I speak for everybody that we all learned an incredible amount from your experience and I'm so grateful you took the time with us today extra time too so oh it's okay <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll be we'll be no, we'll, in conversation yeah. yeah we'll be in touch yeah we'll be uh, mm -hmm. so and where are you now in, in also in John Hopkins I'm still at Johns Hopkins but I I'm I just moved to Minneapolis I'm in the Oh, upper Midwest now, Minnesota, upper oh. Midwest. Oh, Minnesota, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah the first time it's, uh, I transfer when I uh, go to United States and to I uh, transfer um, a play, a flights in Minnesota. Oh, yeah. yes, yeah. yeah. St. Paul, Minneapolis Airport. Yeah, one of the best in the yeah. world. I'm a big, you know, people are going <laughs> to find as the longer I live here how much of a fan I am of my hometown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, nice to be here. Yeah. <laughs> Just too cold sometimes. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. There's that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and um, oh, and uh, one thing I just uh, forget to um, mention about that's uh, uh, for this disease. There's very interesting things. Be, uh, up, if the patient gets the high fever, if the patient gets the high fever, um, and then after you treat that in the correct way. Uh, no matter Chinese medicine or Western medicine, if the progress getting better, and then the temperature will drop down very quickly, and after that it will below the normal, the low uh, the normal up uh, below the thirty six degree. The lowest of of uh, the lowest the temperature I I observe is just a thirty four point seven. Is there yeah. any explanation for that? Oh. Uh, yes, in actually, yeah, it, it has uh, explanation. Uh, uh, in Chinese medicine, we have explanation. <laughs> I don't know the Western medicine. Um, maybe they will say they consume too much the energy, but in Chinese medicine, we say that's consume too much qi, and uh, um, because that's uh, you know the high fever is just consuming qi, and uh, after. Um, it's dropped down and the cheese enough. So that's where we have the um, uh, lower uh, temperature. And the uh, at the first, uh, when I uh, observed that, I just asked the patient to check uh, the test again, because I think that's maybe just the, the monitor is, was broken <laughs> and said, no, it's, it's just a certain force, the double check. And then uh, more and more just the patient the feedback. Give me the feedback, uh, feedback like that. So I think that's um, also uh, the uh, just a, a common. How did they, what were the? How did they? Did they feel anything different with a lower temperature, or they only? No, could... they just at the beginning they just feel uh, fatigue. They just mm -hmm. feel uh, tired, of fatigue. Like a uh, like an not... iron deficiency or something like something comparable to mm -hmm. iron deficiency, but this oh is yes, a, yeah, and uh, no irritable. And in Chinese medicine, if the patient uh, even don't have any, uh, the, the fever drop down, but so the patient feel irritable and then, uh, um, and then uh, still feel um, anxiety is not a good sign. That means the disease is getting worse, not getting better. If the, if the patient gets, uh, Getting better, the uh, the patient should feel like uh, you know um, some fat, uh, just fatigue. Actually, in uh, Wilker's book, uh, he said most of the patient doesn't need um, a treat, uh, be treated. You you just need weight, 
and after the zhen qi, the correct qi, like the immune system come back to normal and it's just a get back to normal. And it will just last two or three days. And then we'll, uh, the temperature will uh, climb up gradually, like a 13.7 and a 35 and 35.6 and then uh, above the 36 and back to normal. And the patient just uh, feel relief dramatically. It's like uh, just uh, the, like the, the, how can I say, just uh, 一个节点, oh, the, the point, the, the key point, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so if you have any question, just free to uh, um, send it to me and, or, or just send to Ozo and Ozo will uh, collect it and send it to me and I, I, I will uh, answer, answer you as soon as possible, as much as possible, okay? Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm sure. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everyone. Come. I hope I, yeah, thanks. All right. I'll leave the Bye. meeting now. Bye. 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 Andrea. Bye. Bye.